Hi guys. Um, so I just saw a tarot challenge on Instagram for the month of May. And uh, it's something I thought about last month, but like it was already halfway through the month and I'm like a perfectionist and I didn't want to start a challenge in the middle of the month. And I totally forgot about it, but it popped up on Instagram and I was like, mm, why not? Uh, so it's, God, what is it called? Um, I don't know. It's like in insights. I don't know. Uh, I'll post what it is uh, down below um, in case you want to look it up on Instagram. So it's basically today's, today's is, God, what is today's? I just looked at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my mind. Just have a drink of coffee. What is this month's mantra and why? Um, okay, so, and then a lot of them I think are like, what do I need to work on? What is going well and why? And and then it ha always has a question afterwards and how. So I feel like it's going to be two cards drawn instead of, initially I was thinking, just draw one card. But since it has two kind of questions, I am going to... Um, Draw two cards. And I don't know that I will post, on my Instagram, I will post every day for the challenge. So follow me on Instagram, Shane in the Universe. I don't know that I will be uploading a video, either on Instagram or YouTube every day. That might become a lot. I might try, but I'm not guaranteeing that. But I am guaranteeing a post once a day on Instagram for the challenge with two cards drawn. I'm not good at follow-throughs. I'm not. So this will be a good um, a good experience for me um, if I if I can make it through. I can do it. I can do it. Once a day, a month, no matter where I am during that month. So I'm going to be using my Greeny Toth deck. Ooh, nice large cards, which I feel is really good for a one or two card draw. Um, and the... Thoth is something that I am just, I mean, if you've been following, you know that I'm just getting into it. I'm just starting to learn. Um, and, I, and I've been reading the last month or so, trying to learn as much as I can about its systems and all the systems involved. So it will be good for me as well to get closer to my Thoth deck and to really uh, know if it is something I am going to work with um, on a regular basis. And I feel like uh, it'll keep me focused on one single deck for a whole month. And that is a good thing for me. So, I think without further ado, what is this month's mantra and why? And what I'm trying to do is change up my, um, my drawing style, the way I draw a card as well. Because what I used to do is just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle until it felt right, and then I would just pick from the top card. And because I have some OCD and I am that perfectionist, I could never, it would take me ages until it felt right. When does it really feel right? And I would just shuffle forever, waiting for like, ooh, what? not this, not this time, not shuffle, not this time, you know? So, so what I'm gonna do is just do one of these things, you know, and then draw from the center. That way I feel like it's still um, left up to chance, you know, I guess, and I don't have to spend forever shuffling. So, okay, so, get on with it, Shane. What is this month's mantra going to be and why? I feel like I'll take the bottom card. We'll see, but there we go. Okay, what is it? It is the Six of Wands, which is victory. So uh, we have the Wands, which is that fiery energy. So this is relating, I'm going to say, to um, all of my goals. Let's say goals, my ambitions, where I'm headed, um, both, you know, in, in my intellectual pursuits, which is more swords, but could still be Wands in my, in where I'm headed in all my passions. And right now, what am I passionate about, okay? My Instagram, my YouTube channel, my studies, um, really learning more um, about 
systems revolving around the tarot, astrology, golden dawn, tree of life, um, all of that fun stuff. So if I'm looking at six of wands, I need to come up with a mantra and I'm going to write it down as well. In my cool, in my cool green book. My cool green book. Mm -hmm. And let's see, let's see, I'm choosy about my pens too. I have a fountain pen. That's not, I mean, it's a fountain pen, but it's not a real, it's not like a calligraphy fountain pen. It's just a, um, the $15 one from Amazon. Where in the world is it? Okay, my V2 will work, right? Okay, so we have Six of Wands, and I need to come up with a mantra that revolves around this Six of Wands. So, um, you know, this is all victory. Six of Wands is about getting to a place where you can um, rest on your accomplishments. You've, you know, I've accomplished a lot. I've worked hard to get there. Other people are noticing my work. That's what this card is to me. And um, and that fits with RWS. It also fits very well with um, uh, the victory, victory of the uh, Thoth deck. And this is going to be Jupiter in Leo. Is that right? I'm still learning, so I think that's Jupiter and Leo. That's something I'll have to discuss in my Instagram post because I'll have to look up. Um, I mean, I know kind of what Leo is. Obviously, it's a fiery energy, blah, blah, blah. Jupiter, I'm still learning all the associations, you know, uh, keywords for the planets. So that's something I'll do in my Instagram post. So mantra, I just keep avoiding it, right? Mantra is... Mm. I'm just going to say diligent um, work. Is that the right word? Diligent, I'm getting a call. No, no, no. Diligent work will... Guide me to, do I want to say victory? Just like the card says. Diligent work will guide me to victory. We're going to use that for now. I might change it, you know, when I, when I can really concentrate and I do my Instagram post. But diligent work will guide me to victory. So a mantra is something, right, that you can say over and over and over again and it manifests that desire it will it will manifest that into reality because we have it going on in our minds we're keeping it there we're saying it over and over and this is a mantra i should be saying on a daily basis throughout the day keeping it fresh in my mind so diligent work will guide me to victory i'm not loving the word victory so that'll probably change but it works um and then why the next question is why why is that my mantra for the month? And for this, I am going to draw this bottom card. It's kind of known as the shadow card. Um, and I think that will be really appropriate for this month's readings every day because we have like those kind of questions are, what can I work on? Draw a card. And then why? And I think that that feels like it's looking at the shadow. Why does that need to be looked at? Why is that my mantra? Why does that need to be changed? You know, so, ooh. The Ace of Swords in the Thoth deck. That's a beautiful card, right? So the Thoth deck, when we're looking at aces, is the the germination of that idea. It is not the. It is not. It does not contain the entire suit, um, like I've I've initially thought with RWS. Right? We think of the aces as that is more the princess in the Thoth deck and we're not, let's not go there. But so the Ace of Swords is the the very beginning of the idea without its manifestation really. So we're looking at, of course, thought processes, intellect, ideas, um, application with those ideas, how I'm talking to others, how I'm communicating with people probably online. So why is this my mantra? Automatically, I am gonna say because I need to learn 
how to better communicate one. I'm going to write this down. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I like it. How to better communicate. How to manifest my ideas. That's exactly it. How to manifest, because I was just saying that, my ideas. And I'm not very good at that. So, sometimes I am. I'm really great at thoughts and having ideas, but putting them into action is something I need to work on. And because there is something coming in a week or so on my channel, which is still kind of a surprise, I'm, you know, not yet, um, I feel like this is so appropriate. So, diligent work will guide me to, I don't like victory, guys. I like victory because it does show that, you know, we're stopping at a certain plateau and can look back and revel in what we've done, but it's not the end. And victory, I guess, doesn't imply end, but to me, it's just saying that's the end of it, and it's not to me. Um, diligent work will guide me to, I think I like accomplishment more. Accomplishment or accomplishments, we'll see. Um, and then... Why I like that? Because I need to learn how to better manifest my ideas. That's it. I really wanted to keep this below 10 minutes. It's gone over. Again, not sure I'm going to do a video every time for this. I might. We'll see. It's not that much work, right? 10, 15 minutes. Um, so there we go. I will put links to both the, I don't know how to link the, I'm just going to link my Instagram channel and I'm going to post this. Of course, I'll be posting every day. So if you're interested in doing the challenge or seeing my results kind of in written form as well, a little blog, um, go ahead and uh, follow me on Instagram and you can see the challenge for the month of May. Do it along with me if you'd like. Um, and, and then see my results every day. Should be an interesting month. Should be interesting to see if I can do some, if I, if I have the follow through on this. Uh, keep me accountable, guys. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you do end up following me on Instagram, make sure to post before, be on this, um, on this, uh, on this, <laughs> on this post. So that I can so that I can get to know who you are, so I can say hi, and so that I know to follow you back. All right, bye.